hey yeah I've got another four wheel combination lock here this is uh, Yale it says Y150 slash 40 I like this lock it's well made feels nice the wheels turn nice and it's got a solid weight to it the thing with this lock it took me ages to figure out the best method to pick this there are a couple of different methods but the tolerance on this lock are very tight it's very well made and it takes a while to pick this lock so I'm pretty impressed with it one of the methods that I've used to pick this lock is I've tensioned the shackle I turn this to each number and try the next wheel along see if it's hard to turn see if it's binding and if it's not I turn it to the next number turn it see if it's binding turn it to the next number see if it's binding and the number that makes it bind the most makes it the most difficult to turn that's probably um, either the right number or a number in a false gate and I'm not too worried if it's a false gate because as soon as I get all four wheels in gates whether they're true gates or false gates I can use the usual trick of finding the wheel that's binding the most and I can pick on that one and I turn that wheel to the gate that has the most up and down play I do that for each wheel and when each wheel is in a gate that has the most play the lock will most likely open because they will most likely be true gates this lock is very well made so the tolerances are tight and the differences are subtle so even though this method eventually works it's slow there is a shortcut and if this method doesn't if my shortcut method doesn't work then I'll come back to that slower reliable method so I'm going to start on zeros again tension the shackle and I'm going to start turning it's quite tight to turn this this wheel this is the wheel that binds the most out of these four it seems to bind uh, in order from this side this end so I'm going to just turn I paused at six because it's sort of it, it sort of was easier to turn into six. And uh, maybe zero. Um, so I'm going to turn the wheel the other way. Sort of um, turning it both ways, it sort of lurches into zero. Now, if that's correct, this wheel should be quite tight to turn and it is tight to turn okay it sort of <clears throat> seemed to uh, let's try that again see if it was easier to turn into seven hmm it's sort of what I'm looking for is for it to suddenly become easier to turn and as if it lurches into a number and there may be a click and I might feel something on the shackle the as I say um, I'm looking for very subtle things so hmm one seemed uh, maybe easier to turn to maybe three and there's seven again I'll turn it, start to turn it the other way
Ah, turning it the other way seemed to more lurch into, was it five? Let's test that again. Maybe not five. This is very subtle differences here. But as I say, if I like a number, I can always test it and see if it's binding the the, the next will. Um, this is still faster, believe it or not, because so many numbers will bind the next will. I think any false gate it was going to bind the next will and, and even some of the um, non-gate numbers. Okay, let's turn it this way again. Okay, did that lurch into two? Let me turn it the other way. Hang on. Turn it the other way. Not what we're doing, trying to turn. Hmm. Do you know why that number wants to turn? Got nine. Ah, that five, uh, I got five again. Look, coming this way. Hmm. I I like five. Let's test the let's test the other world. So this is indeed quite tough to turn. Sort of did it sort of click there? Sort of um, was easier to turn into eight, actually, but I'm not sure. Let's go the other way. Yeah, eight. I like eight. Ah, oh, this number had uh, moved slightly. Uh, with this lock, if the numbers get out of line, it uh, really upsets things because the tolerance is so tight. So I'm going to try that. Just once more. Oh, oh, it moved again. Mm -hmm. I'll leave it at eight and we'll see if uh, what the last wheel is doing. Um, it sort of jumped around five, three. One. Okay. Hmm. So five's quite loose. Okay, if with this lock, the gate seem to be every second number. So if I'm right about this wheel, the gates would be one, three, five, seven, nine, and gate five is quite loose, so I'm looking for, for loose. So that's loose, that's loose. This is really tight. Okay, I think I have to pick on this wheel. Now they're all in gates, it's it's easier, but it takes a, a lot just to get them all into gates. So with this wheel, if six was a gate, then then the gates will be zero, two, four, six, and eight. Um, it's 
quite loose on two. So let's put it to two and we'll, we'll see which other wheel is, oh no, the, lock, the lock's open. Now that's the thing with this lock. If a number is slightly out of line, then it won't open. It's not even halfway between the numbers. I can put it halfway, won't open, three quarters, won't open, and then the next whole number won't open. So these numbers have to be exact for this lock. The tolerances are so tight. So it's easy when you're um, turning some of the wheels to knock some of the other wheels out of line and you can go right past the right combination. So again, this is the right combination. It opens, but if, I, if it's slightly, I just turn that slightly, it's not going to open. Even though it looks right, it needs to really need to wiggle and make sure. And it's not just wiggle. When I go to the next number, it sort of clicks there, clicks there, clicks there, and the whole number. So it's as if there's three clicks between whole numbers. So that's how um, how tight these tolerances are. Thanks.